Hello everyone, welcome to Reverse Media and today I will show you how I created an amazing folk song folk music. As you can see the poster besides me is very amazing. It is available on all streaming platforms and let's just dive into it. So to create a folk song or folk music there are some basic things. First thing, it should have a cowbell melody. So let me just show you how the cowbell melody sounds. Second thing is that your melody is your synth, your A to H should be highly distorted, just like this. And the fourth thing is that there should there should be some vocal samples or vocal chops, just like this. So uh, these are some basic things which you require and the, and the, generally the form song or form music the tempo is very high like it should be above 100 ppm maybe up to 140 or 130 ppm so for my song I don't know I kept it around 110 ppm as you can see on my dock and so let me just tell you how I created the every song how I got this idea so uh, like I was uh, I wanted some plug sounds for my uh, phone song like uh, the, generally the phone song or phone music is generally upbeat so the, I, do, I didn't want the song to be very lazy sounding and the melody should be like high tempo melody so what I did is that I found a very cool, cool one shot from Cymatics Fantasy it's a sample pack it's freely available on their website you can download it and what I did, I shortened it in the way that it closely resembles a plug sound and very highly distorted it. Just like it seems like brass sounding. So by like uh, you can just change the shape, change the length of the whole sample or a one shot. If the one shot is very long, what you can do by just length knob you can shorten it and by SMP start you can change the starting point of the one shot so it was a long one shot like it was long sounding sustained sounding so I shorten it by using these two knobs and I made it a very short brass sounding plug sound after that what I did I created a melody and this melody is in C uh, this melody is in C minor the melody is not very complex but the thing is like it feels very impactful and how you can get these ideas it's uh, let me uh, let me get straight like for getting the ideas for melodies and stuff it's like you have to experiment all the time so to give an uh, like to understand this particular form genre I listen to various form music and after that I it just came into my mind I was playing around the keys and this melody line came into but the simple thing is that uh, for phone song the melody is not very complex like it includes like only three notes like the C and the D, uh, D sharp and the D and in the second phase in the after this uh, in the second bar you can see I added uh, another layer in, in say in above octave so it feels a change it feels same melody but uh, after four bars it gives a change and gives a very different vibe so after creating this main melody I was thinking that there should be some more rhythmic or melodic rhythmic things around this melody so that the entire spectrum should be filled. I didn't want any uh, like sustained sounds for pop genre. Then generally they are not there are no long sustained noises. So I for that 
like you need short sounds short which are which are not longer it's a very similar to plug sounds and rhythmic so the second thing the second synth which i added is to create the rhythmic pattern is this let me just play it with the main melody Let me just show you how I created this uh, this rhythmic pattern. So this uh, this synth sample is same from like uh, Symantec's Fantasy sample pack. You can find it. You can download it. So what I did, like uh, uh, I changed it, changed the length of it, and <coughs> I added a delay on it. So as you can see, it was sounding here and there uh, to to our right and left and. There was a bounce to it. So how it's, it's simple? Like I oh, I created this melody over the main melody, just like counter melody with a rhythmic change. Let me just show you the piano roll. So it's very simple, it's, it generally follows the same pattern as the main melody, notes are the same, just the rhythm is different. And the third thing which I added with the melody section is the rhythmic synth which I got from Toxic Bahadur. Let me just show you how it sounds. It's a sample from Toxic Bowser. It's a stock plugin from Apple's video. You can directly use it. And after creating this melody structure, when I feel that the melody melodic part of the whole song is filled, then I started adding the vocal samples. So there is there is this is one vocal sample which I created, and uh, this vocal sample is like uh, directly recorded from this earphone. I'm really seeing. So let me just show you how the vocal sample sounds. So, like uh, I was there uh, when I was creating this song, I really didn't mean like the song should be very good because Mojo was like it's a hyper song and a hyper music. So I really wanted to just like it's just gibberish as you can see here. You cannot understand what I'm saying. I only thing if you can understand I don't know, I don't know, which is also very gibberish when you try to understand it. So it was like I was just uh, singing things like in the way like it should in the rhythm of the main melody. When I play when you listen this vocal sample with the main melody, it will it will different, definitely give a big change. Just listen to it. So, like you can see that this vocal sample is not well recorded or something. So, like uh, it. It really doesn't matter that you have a very good equipment. Like at least in the beginning, saying I, I should say, like if you are learning, learning, you are in the learning thing as I am right now. So I try to experiment. Whatever new things I listen, whatever new things I understand, I try to implement. It. Even like even I don't have good equipment right now, so I don't hesitate. Just try, give it. Just try to experiment. Give the full everything you want for your song. And like this, this vocal sample is not sounding great individually, but as you can put with other melodies and stuff, it's sounding great. So just try to be more creative, try to enjoy the tempo and the bounce and try to do things in, this, in that way, like enjoying the BPM, enjoying the bounce of the music. And in this way, you can, you can create some ideas, some thoughts which are very creative. And which will suit your music and which will create an impact and bounce so that the audience you are targeting that can, they, they can also enjoy. So after recording this vocal sample, what I did, I heavily processed it. 
let me just show you so what i did i eq'd it out uh, let me just play the vocal sample separately i eq'd it out with most of the removing most of the noises which were coming inside the room and i added some reverb and then i added this fruity stereo shaper which i generally use in most of my like vocal mixing and stuff so i created this stereo spacing this is a, a stereo spacing for using this plugin and it's a preset which is available i just use that same preset again i think i have put this in the earlier video also you can check it out link will be given in the description so after creating this vocal sample and the melody line next part comes is the drum kicks and the eight way so i wanted the bar drums should be hard hitting and a great sick bounce so first i created the kick the kick pattern and let me just show you the pattern So uh, I use the same sample from Symmetrics and I DQ'd it out so uh, so the major of the high end was removed and I uh, did use I used uh, Symmetrics Diablo Light which is a free plugin from Symmetrics to give a hard punch to your kicks and this is how I created the whole drum pattern for the beginning section. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This drum pattern with the cool high hats, simple high hats pattern. No, uh, I didn't do many major things like it's simple high hat pattern. You can create it, this high hat pattern very easily. And after creating this drum pattern, this last thing which was remaining was the 808. And the 808 should be very mean, very nasty, very highly destructive. So, how I created this 808. to show you so i use this 8 from Symmetrics uh black friday sample pack kit and it's free where you can download it very easily and uh, i what i did like i added various distortion to it let me just show you so uh, uh, first i eq'd it out and without distortion it sounds like this And then I added effect term, which is a stock plugin from Apple Studio. And this distortion module by clicking distort, and you should you should you have to press this bypass button because if you don't press this bypass, every time the 808 will hit, the effect will not be there. So just bypass this, uh, just press this bypass button so that the 808 hits with the distortion effect every time. So after adding this affected this distortion, it sounds like this. And the last thing that your kicks and the e to it should slap very hard is that the kick should sound uh, cleaner with the e to it. So how you can do it? So the first thing you, the easiest way which I use every time is the side chain. So in the side chaining process, it's very simple. Like <coughs> you have to the you as you can see my the kick channel, the kick channel here is side chain to this to the A to A track. So how you can side chain it? Just like select your kick channel and on the A to A channel, just right click and side select side chain to this track. And as you can see, my kick channel is side chain to the 808. So, what does this mean? This means that the information, or the, you can say the transient information from the kick channel, is going to the 808 rack, so that I can uh, I can fiddle out the 808 in the same, in the way that the 808 should play after the kick has been played. So, uh, in the on the 808, what I did, 
I added this limiter as you can see on the screen and just put your limiter, put a limiter on the compression mode and just select on the side chain select the tape and after selecting this you have to select the ratio threshold knee and the ratio and from this you have, you have to like you have to judge everything with your ears you should check whether the kick and the eight weights are not meshing with each other they are cleaner by uh, you have to like train your ears just uh, as you hear so let me just play the kick in the eight weight pattern <coughs> By adjusting the threshold, you are adjusting the volume impact of the eight weights, and by adjusting the ratio and the knee, you can you can uh, it's like you can, it's like following the eight weight, like how the eight weight will follow after the kick. So as you can see, when uh, as you can see on my mixer, the kick when the kick hits the eight weight automatically goes down so that the kick sound should be cleaner so it depends on your ears like you have to hear it and do it in that way it's not that there are some levels so you have to be uh, you have to hear and then make the choice that where the kicks and the e 2 are sounding products by adjusting these three notes thresh knee and the ratio after creating these e 2 8 sample in the last I added this vocal sample. It's just vocal sample here, which is being panned left and right. After getting all these, the, all the main things, I created this beaming part. or you can say the beginning part for the song the second I was thinking for a great switch up so for the switch up part what I did like I changed the melody like I didn't keep it the same way so what I did like let me just show you the melody which I have changed the, for the switch up I changed the entire melody and so in, this is the melody which I have changed created this switch up by changing the melody and adding more drums and the more kicks so that it should go more high and high up and up let me just show you how I created this switch up Which I, have, which I have created it's very simple I didn't do like didn't do major change in the sound but the thing is I changed the rhythm as you can see earlier the cowbell was cowbell melody was playing at every two bars and for the switch up I hybrid up change the tempo and uh, make it uh, play after every one bar to change the rhythm So as soon as I got the rhythm, I started to think like uh, what should we do with the vocal so that it should go high and high up and up. So I recorded this vocal as you can see here and uh, I uh, used the vocal sample from the stock sounds which is available in the Apple studio and make it like sounding repetitive and rhythmically fast. So let me just show you how I did it. I was 
improvising. I was improvising. I was improvising. I was improvising. So uh, it's very simple to do this repeated thing. I use this vocal uh, vocal sample and I didn't do any uh, glitches or anything with the vocal chops. I just use the same uh, channel rack and repeat it in repeat it in many times. And for that, as the melody, as the vocals are rising up, you can see the rhythmic pattern is going high and the speed is going up. So I want to make the drum sounding like bouncy and fast and impactful. So I will show you how I created the. Let me show you the sample of the kick and the eight-word pattern, which gives you the bounce of changing, like rhythmic change. And after getting this kick in the 8 weight pattern which is hyping up, rising, so after that when the when it hits to the second the second part of the song, I wanted a crash sound which is uh, crash sound so I did this crash on to give it a great impact and let us just play the whole switch up part. second part the whole rhythm has changed everything and even I added a new vocal sample and uh, with that I added this cool uh, hi-hat and a snare pattern which gives a great bounce and a different bounce from the earlier version. And the melody line is the same as earlier. It's really like how you are wondering like how I created everything, how I'm getting these ideas. It's really like feeling the vibe and the bounce and the rhythm of the song as like in the beginning, you can, yeah, you, as you have created the basic structure and the melodies and the drums and the kicks. So, by understanding those, you can move your song in the any way you want. So, in this way, I created a second part of the song. Just show you how the whole song sounds like. an amazing form song poem music which is available on all streaming platforms on Spotify YouTube just go to River Stream Media on Spotify and you can listen to this whole song 
and just try to experiment new things, try to learn new things. Like for me, Paul Jonah was new. So what I did, I just listened to a bunch of Paul songs and try to uh, try my my level best so to take major of the elements from those songs and put it in my song and do it in my way. So similarly, you can do it. It's very simple. It's not very complex. So this is how you can create an amazing Paul songs. Thank you very much.